What the? Everybody, I've been so excited to do this episode because this creator I stumbled upon like two weeks ago just instantly was hooked on his content. You know what? Let me get the let me get the mahogany. A little feng shui. I just made food. Fried food is crazy right now. So this creator goes by the name of Adrian Purr, and I stumbled across his content last week or the week before and instantly hooked. We're going to go over some of his videos and, you know, his styles and techniques, but like some of the more important things that he teaches and expresses in his art, which is through videos. Amazing stuff. But break down Adrian Purr. He's worked with Lil Nas X, uh, Nike, uh, just a bunch of different uh, music, musical artists. I uh, did a short film. The short film is great. If you're Filipino, you totally understand. It's on his YouTube channel. So usually I, you know, start and stop a video, especially if it's a YouTube video, just because it's a little longer. But I want to play this video out just so you could see it in full. I don't want to start and stop, but we will break down the video after. I really don't want to take away from, you know, the love that he's getting on it. So after you guys do watch this, make sure you guys like this video, like his stuff after, please. Let's watch it. I'm posting on TikTok. 365 days straight this year. Every day, at least once a day. Ooh. For all of 2023. If you're wondering why, I can understand. Let me explain. Who? Who even am I? And why am I doing this? My name is Adrian Perk. I'm a full-time film director, photographer, creative director, and co-founder of a few companies and whatnot. Mainly video production, digital marketing, and now food. I've worked as a professional creative now for over 10 years. Freelance, no management, no agency, no corporate. Oh just my me God. and my own So many, company, so many good things. Fully self-funded. I went from being a high school dropout, inner city Ooh. kid from San Francisco, to having the opportunity to work with talent and brands I could have only dreamed of as a kid in LA. Now that we're here, I want to show y'all everything that I've learned. I want to create what inspires me. I want to create the content that I want to see. I want to create through the lens and perspective of somebody that I rarely see championed on these platforms. Ooh. Most of what I see is the same recycled content from different forms of pretty much the same person in this space. So many people's work looks the same. Same edits, color presets, trends, and they're always trying to sell you something. None of that inspires me. So I'm taking it upon myself to just create what inspires me. To stop looking for it when it was always just within me and within you too. So come on, join me. All right, so there's so many good things about this. All right. First, the text that comes I'm in. Posting on tick. He does a he does a walk in from uh you know this side motion always using motion uh for a lot of his stuff. Three hundred sixty five days straight this year. It, it punches day, in at least one. Another a day. shot. Right, another shot where he's sitting down, changing the angle. the The framing even of the text is like solid. You'll see that throughout the whole. I, I guess this first part is where I really notice it because he uses the negative space in the sky to really frame the text. Five days straight this year. Every day, at least once a day. Certain things too, like look how the text comes in. It's very stylized. At least once a day. Uses the word day twice. For so all just of 2023. Kind of if you're wondering why, let me explain. Ooh. Two shots there. Boom. Explain. Right? Turn the keys, shifts. And the lighting is completely different, right? But he's it looks like he's trying to get the best shot because if he shot this this shot here, it would be completely dark, right? So just look at the use Let of lighting. Who? Who even am I? And why so am I doing I feel like I'm watching a Tarantino movie. The cool thing is you don't usually see this, especially for short form content, people just making reels. The production value goes above and beyond and it really shows. You know how long it, it takes to set this up, set up the mount on the car, frame it, make sure it's good, have a storyline. Production company, fully self funded. I went from being a high school dropout, inner city. The light that came and just hit right here. My own production company, fully self funded. I went from being. It just really like hit at a perfect time. Fully self funded. Brands I could have only dreamed of as a Ooh. kid in LA. Now that we're here, I want to show y'all everything. So, that all the stuff that he's talking about, you start to. to see all the work that he he does but it's kind of like it, it has this like nice build up kid from san francisco to having the, the cuts are getting faster showing all the people he's worked with only dreamed of as a kid in la now that we're here most of what i see is the same different shots from different forms of pretty much the same person in this space 
the audio sequence is wild is wild just close your eyes and listen to like how the buildup is what he's saying it gets you hype I want to create through the lens and perspective of somebody that I rarely see championed on. And if platforms. you listen to it on your headphones, you can hear the, the same left and right content from different sounds. Of always trying to sell you something. None of that inspires me. So I'm taking it upon myself to just create what inspires me. <laughs> Come on, stop man. looking for it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Adrian, throughout all his videos, especially the videos he's been producing right now, I'm a huge fan of his music. I grew up loving hip hop and R and B, and the, the you know, the artist that he chooses, the songs um, hit home for me. So seeing this, also being Filipino myself, you know, there's like this, this, uh, this is my cousin. I'm going to start telling people this is my cousin. That's just how it is. But like, listen to when he comes into frame. Th that first, huh? I don't even know what that is. Huh? None of that inspires me. So I'm taking it upon myself to just create what inspires me. To stop looking for it. When it was always just within me and within you too. And it so stops. Music Enjoy just stops. Me. Storytelling is super on point. Multiple angles, the music, the color correction. This is unbelievable stuff. Like they're just the way it looks. It feels like a coming of age story. You got the orange and the blues. You know, the, the greens are really muted. He's telling a story of his life what he wants to see and actually doing it through this video. He wants to see content like this. And so many people have been hooked because I've been following it. I've been seeing so much love on his videos. People asking him questions. Yo, what audio do you use? You know, how do you mount your camera to your car? How do you do color correction? When you're this good, people want to know how you do things because they automatically think that if they know what equipment you use, know what font you use, the colors, that you're going to be this good realistically and it's the hard truth you're not you need to practice you need to get good you need to work on your craft if this is the baseline of who you want to be this is pretty good so briefly just a couple cool things that i know that is different from a lot of creators one he does a lot of i would say storytelling or script writing he's not just going off the cuff two the audio is phenomenal there's a lot of post-production stuff. You know, a lot of people don't do it. You just kind of get the mic. But there are so many different tools that you can use to actually increase or enhance the quality of your audio. And I think he just came out with a video yesterday or today about that. So make sure you guys check out his stuff. The way he does even his text, the angles, the amount of effort he does into these, just these shorts. Uh, so even angles like this. Then Who even am I? And why am I doing this? Boom, in front of the car. Literally just like a frame. My name is Adrian Perr. I'm a full-time film director, and stops. photographer, creative director, and co-founder of a few companies and whatnot. And Mainly, then listen to the audio, video, right? So there's director, like photographer, creative. There's like the natural sound, the raw sound from there. The director, the camera shutter. Founder of a few companies, and then here's like the crickets whatnot. you hear. And what I'm really noticing too is like what a lot of people do is they shoot with people will shoot with their camera this way and crop it but from the look of a lot of his stuff it looks like he's shooting with the camera this way because when you shoot this way and you crop it in it actually does not look the same as if you shot this way when you get when you actually shoot this way because of the lenses you actually get a lot more length or a lot more height if you are shooting this way so look it, it almost feels like a fisheye like look how much of the ceiling he's getting right and then floor but the framing you see a lot of the bench here so it, it actually feels like it's a little bit higher in terms of like where the camera is on the sticks and the choice to one sit on the hood of the car but then he also has this one where he's choosing to sit leaning against the car it just makes everything look so cool uh you'll see a lot of this shot where the camera's on the hood but what you also need to realize is you know, I, I guess because it's the shade, but see how clear the glass looks. I would assume he has like some some sort of polarizer. All right, let's just run through a couple other videos real quick. I get asked this often, and the answer is simple. Different what angles. What camera should I buy? What camera should I upgrade to? What is the best camera? I promise you, it's not the this one. This shot is like ugh, amazing. Look at this. The focus uh, is 
really on here. And I think he said in his videos is that he only uses or he had manual focus maybe for these lenses. So this is all in focus, out of focus, out of focus. The negative space that he has up here. And he's not centered. You know what I mean? He has some lead room here. There you have three it. lines now cuts in just emphasis on him drawing those lines best because the single most important aspect to this craft is your writing. This is how stories are told. It's all see how the music changed there. This is your writing and it's like it's a whole new idea, a whole new topic within here. What emotion are you trying to invoke? No, it's just no, it's just is it? sadness give this man an oscar I'm okay but this last video i just really want to touch on it's called sharing the font i use and the message behind it i thought was really cool and just the way it was written the way he actually expresses himself seems very authentic okay so it's time to answer one of the questions i get asked multiple times in every video and to make it quick and simple for you this is the font that i use and this is the color code that i use Wow. And it took me a long time to answer this, not because oh. I wanted a gatekeep, but it's because it goes against my principles. And one of them being originality. I don't own that font. I don't own the color yellow, but I dug very deep and I found a font that I've never seen anybody use that I just happen to like. This one just felt like me. And I say all of that to say this, I am very flattered and I am humbled that I have inspired you all. That's my goal. But why aspire to be like me when you can be better than me? You have a different voice. We have different perspectives on life. We see life through a different lens. Take inspiration and make it your own. But I gave you the font. I gave this you the is part. And if that inspires you, then that's great. Let's start there. But through that, hopefully one day you will find your own font. Ooh, there's a there. Hopefully one day you will find your own fonts. And for some reason, I watched it and it just made me feel like, yeah, you know what? Let me find my own font. It almost inspires you. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you that there are other creators who watch this and was like, yeah, you know what? Started looking up fonts. Like, what is what is my font? What What's my color? And I hope that's what a lot of people did because i know i definitely was looking up different fonts for absolutely no reason i'm not making videos like this but i was like what is my font this whole channel isn't about like just video techniques it's really about storytelling and uh oh you know what i just noticed a little bit of halation right here this whole channel is, is about filmmaking techniques but also about storytelling it's just this guy sitting in his car talking about fonts but the way he wrote it the way he presented it it made you feel something and i think that's the most important short form content is crazy especially when you have a limited time to actually tell your story doing this on instagram and tiktok in that amount of time really really tests your skills because when people have unlimited time like on youtube and they try to make videos like this they tend to kind of sit on things for a longer period of time or don't get to the point this one it's like what's my point what do i want to teach or how do i want to make people feel and what are the steps to get there in the shortest amount of time and the best way to do it? Don't forget to check out Adrian's stuff. I'll link all his stuff down below. Take it easy. Peace.